Today, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful and proven ChatGPT SEO strategies that I'm using personally for my website. So you can see pre-ChatGPT, our content was getting about 20 clicks a day, sometimes as low as 10 clicks a day. That is embarrassing, my friends. And now you can see we're, we're basically up to 350 clicks a day using this process. So let me reveal it all today for you and how it works. And just so you know this works, we take an article like this, for example, targeting this keyword right here. Let's just check it's actually ranking and you can see it ranking number two up here for the keyword that we want to rank for. Happy days. Same for this one as well. Let's check where it's ranking. We'll take the keyword and you can see we are ranking number two right there. So this process is proven. It works. It gets good results. It brings in leads and sales for our agency. This is a super competitive industry that we're in. So, you know, SEO industry, obviously everyone's trying to rank for it. And today you're going to learn my most scalable system for creating content how to quality control your site's AI SEO content, proven ways to rank and stay ranking. And I'm basically going to give you the whole system to copy and steal this process from me. So you get the free job ad, the tools, the checklists, the SAPs, the Google Sheets trackers, etc. If you want to do this yourself, you don't need the job ad. But if you do want to hire and you do want to scale and you do want to get a team doing this, then this system is going to help you massively. Let's get into it. Now, for me, when it comes to creating the content, I actually use a job ad that looks something like this and I'll give it to you for free so that if you do want to replicate it yourself, you can. So you can see the job ad right here. Um, we're basically hiring people for $1.5 per article. That is insanely cheap. A couple of years ago, I was spending like $50 or $100 per article. Now I can get it done for $1.5 per article. And usually, honestly, the content is better. It ranks better. It keeps its rankings better because of the systems that I'm about to show you. And by the way, if you're wondering, okay, isn't that a bit cheap? Like, aren't you paying people a bit cheap? I mean, you can pay people as much as you want to, and it's up to them to accept the job or to disagree with you. But as you can see, I actually got a VA to create five articles using this process. It took them 43 minutes to complete the whole task. So they wrote five articles in 43 minutes, and they actually offered to create 100 articles per day. So it's a proven process, works really well. This is a job ad that you can use to attract candidates. By the way, if you want to know how to post this job ad or not work, let me talk you through that. It's simple and it's free to post. And then you just pay fees on whoever you hire. So what you would do is go to your dashboard on Upwork, post a job like this in the top right, go to create a new job post. I usually click short term or part time work, hit continue. Then you're going to write a job. Then you can call it something like chat GPT blog SEO content. Plug that into the title right there. From here, I'm normally going to select SEO, click skills. Skills, you can just select some stuff like SEO writing, search engine optimization, etc. I don't think this makes a massive difference. From there, click scope. Usually I go to medium, about three to six months. Intermediate, not at this time. Location. Location, you can hire from the whole world. That's a great thing about Upwork. And then on the budget, I actually like to change this to fixed price. And then you can put whatever you plan to spend on the whole project, right? So for example, let's say you've got a $1,000 budget for the whole project and all the content you want to create in total, then you can put a thousand dollars there. And then in the description, we've got the description right here. You can copy all of that, plug it into the description, format it neater if you really want to, go to review job post. And I'm not gonna post it right now because I've already created it in the past and hired for it, but then you would finally click post this job ad, right? Now there's a couple of screening questions you can add as well. For example, do you agree to the $1.5 per article payment terms? So we can add that as a screening question right there. And by the way, this is $1.5 per article. But if the freelancer can do five articles in 43 minutes, then it actually only takes them nine minutes to create each article. And technically they're earning like seven to $8 per hour, which, you know, depending on where they're from, if they're, for example, in the Philippines, that is a high rate. So again, if it's a high rate in their country, then everyone wins. You get good quality content. They get a very high rate compared to what they would normally get. And they can work from anywhere in the world doing this. So then we can go to add another question. We'll put in, have you watched a video and understood what to do? Because we've referenced that inside the content. And so these two questions just clarify whether people have seen the instructions and that they're okay with the payment terms. And if not, you can negotiate a new rate with them. And that's basically it. And if you want to do it yourself, you can. Let me show you how. So once you've hired someone and you found the freelancers that you want, you're going to create content using this process right here, right? So if a VA is writing for juliangoldie.com, they're going to use this process right here. And basically each week they would fill in the keyword, the WordPress link. So the link to where the content is on the website, the date, the word count, table of contents. Did they scrape the top five articles for keywords and similar headings? 
because we want to reverse engineer our competitors. Did they include the keyword in the first line of the introduction? How long was the content? Did they format it with nice headings? Did they include relevant FAQs? Does the search intent match what's ranking on Google? And basically every single part of the process is all systemized using this process. So, you know, even if someone's never done SEO before, they just follow the content creation checklist like this and they create however much content they want to use, right? And so if they're writing for juliangoldie.com to get the results that I showed you previously, then they're just going to follow this simple SOP right here. And if you want access to the SOP, it's inside the job ad right here. All right. And so all we do is I give them the keyword. So for example, at SEO company, St. Joseph, shout out to anyone in that area watching. And then they're just going to copy my template, which is right here. So they would just click make a copy. And this is all available for you as well, if you want to get access to it. And then they're just going to put the title and the keyword, the SEO title, the meta description, etc. They'll write the introduction following this format. They're going to add a table of contents. Then they're going to add some keywords with our competitors headings and just mix up the competitors headings. And then they're going to add some FAQs and then they're going to have some final thoughts, right? And this whole process is done using ChatGPT. Now you might be wondering, okay, but how do they actually create the content on ChatGPT? So they basically take this prompt right here and they take the headings that they scraped from our competitors previously. They plug that into ChatGPT like so, paste in the headings down here and then edit the keyword, right? They plug the keyword into each article that they create. And then they just create the content. They use the checklist that I've shown you previously, which is right here. They fill this in. So you can see it's been filled up to 340 times right here. And it's as simple as that. Now, it's very important, of course, that you hire someone who can follow instructions. But basically, if they do follow the instructions, then the article is going to be as good as you want. And you can quality control it as much as you want. Now, you might be more picky on the content. If you are, that's totally fine. When the article is published, you can just have a little quick proofread through the content. You can make sure that you like it make sure that the content is good. If you don't like it, just send them a quick video showing them how to improve it. And that's basically how you can get an army of VAs to create content for you that actually ranks and keeps its rankings just like I've shown you in the charts previously. Now, what I also like them to do is to find some pictures some videos to add some relevant external links, format the text nicely. Ideally, I, I like the articles to be quite long. That's just what I tend to find works quite well. And that's basically it. And so if you're wondering how do you hire people for a profitable price that's also fair and using because it's such a quick and efficient process, well, here's the job ad. If you want the SOP for creating the content, it's right here. If you want the checklist, you can get the checklist right here. Now, another thing that I do when I'm hiring and outsourcing is that I answer the FAQs inside the job ad, right? So for example, sometimes they're going to say, well, how can you create blogs so quickly? And I say, well, I just say, check out the videos, right? So these are some of the common FAQs that I get when I'm outsourcing content to new people. And typically they'll ask like, how do you create content so fast? And I say, well, just check out the video tutorial, which you can see right here. And that's how I create content so fast. And then they're going to say, well, how much content do you need per blog? And I just show them. Sometimes VAs ask about article outlines and I just say, well, you can figure that out. Like you're the smartest person here. You can figure it out and do it yourself using the SOP that I've given you already. And then here's how to create the title and the Yoast title, etc. And that's basically it. Also, another question that I commonly get asked by VAs is like, how do I access the Keyword Explorer on Ahrefs? And I just say, don't worry about that. Just reverse engineer what's working on Google. I give you the keyword. You've got everything else you need to do. And therefore, you save money on tools because they're doing the work by scraping your competitors on Google. And that's basically it. Now, additionally, the, the chat GPT prompt actually does most of the heavy lifting. So if we analyze this prompt, for example, it says write the below content. So format it with headings. I actually don't worry about AI detection so much anymore, but that was an old prompt that I still use. And then I just customize it for each keyword. So the VA would include the keyword right there, make it easy to understand and unique and engaging. Use some real life examples. Use a storytelling approach when you're creating the content. Add some H2 and H3 headings so it's nicely formatted. Keep the keyword density high so it's still relevant. And this is not just for SEO, but actually, if you keep the keyword density high in your content, then it stays super relevant, especially when someone else is creating it on ChatGPT. Every sentence on a new line so it's nice and easy to read. And that's basically it. And then they can just scrape the competitor's headings on the first page of Google for the keyword that we want. And so just keeping it very simple, that is the free ChatGPT SEO content strategy, okay? So it's the most scalable way to create content. You can quality control your site's AI SEO content with the tools and the checklist, etc. plus proofreading it yourself. It's proven to rank and stay ranking. And as promised, you can see the free job ad right here. 
you got the free tools, which is ChatGPT 3.5. You got the free checklist, which is right here. You can just make a copy if you really want to. And then finally, you have the free SOP as well for the step-by-step -step instructions. Simple as that. Now, another thing that I've added to the SOP is my custom GPTs list. And this can also help speed up their work too. So for example, you've got a free keyword research tool. So you might not even want to come up with the keywords and therefore you could give this to the virtual assistant. They come up with their own keywords based on the niche, for example, like SEO. Let's put SEO link building. And then it will give you a bunch of relevant keywords as you can see right here with the tool. And then you don't even need to come up with the keywords yourself. Same for the outline creator. You could automate that with this GPT. Basically, all the GPTs here you can use to help speed up the VA's work and improve the quality of the work as well. And as you'll see, there's actually 18 different SEO tools that I've created on this list that you can access for free if you have access to ChatGPT+. So that should help speed up the process as well. And that's inside the SAP right there. So thanks so much for watching. So if you want access to this free ChatGPT SEO content strategy, what I'm going to do is put it in my free course. It's going to be in the SEO system section. I'm going to call this the ChatGPT SEO SAPs and checklists. It's right there in the description so you can get access to it whenever you want. And if you do want a booking call about how to get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO using link building and talk to us about how to personally build you a link building campaign that predictably and consistently delivers you more backlinks, traffic and sales to your website, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session right there. And we'll basically give you a free link building strategy session to give you an SEO domination plan, answer any questions that you have, you'll discover the secrets of link building and you'll discover how to quickly outrank your competitors. Plus you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website. So feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.